Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Microtech uh, Do It Server on a Microtech router as well as the client software on a MacBook. But even if you've got a Windows PC, you can also follow along this tutorial. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to be using a MacBook to complete this uh, configuration. So I've come up with a network diagram that simply depicts what we're actually trying to achieve here. Uh, we, we've got a laptop. That's where we're going to install the Microtech Dude client software. And then we've got a Microtech Dude uh, server, which can actually be a physical or virtual router. And then a, also a Microtech client device. It can actually be an actual PC. But in my case, I'm just going to be using a router as a client device. So in the end, we're supposed to come up with a network diagram that looks like this whereby we've got a laptop attached to the do server and a Microtech uh, client device attached to the Microtech uh, uh, do server. So in my case, I'm going to be using the cloud stage router as well as virtual box if I don't have a uh, physical uh, devices uh, near me. But if you've got physical devices, if you've got a physical router, you can also follow along this tutorial to complete this setup. Uh, so the first thing that I need you to do is to download the Doot server, uh, uh, the Doot client package actually, as well as the cloud hosted router. So uh, go to mycritic.com and then click on the software tab. And then what I now need you to do is to scroll down to the cloud hosted router section. So click on the save button on the .ova template file for the 6.48.6 uh, version. And then you also need to download the Dude uh, client software as well. So once you've actually downloaded through those two things, uh, the next thing that we're actually going to do is to import uh, the cloud hosted route. So go to your downloads folder, right click on the .ova file and then click on open with virtual box. Click on the import button. And then once the router has been imported, what you actually now need to do is to uh, click on settings. And then we're actually first going to change the name of the, this uh, cloud hosted route. So I'm actually going to name it Microsoft Dude Server. So just remove the default name there. And then uh, I'm actually going to use all caps here. I'm just going to name it uh, Microsoft uh, Dude Server. So once you've actually done that, click on the network tab and then set adapter 1 to host only adapter. You need to allow all on promiscuous mode, click on adapter 2 and attach it to the NAT network. Also set the promiscuous mode to allow all and then click on the display tab and set the graphics controller to VMS VGA and then click on OK. So once you've actually done that, go back to your downloads folder and then we're actually going to repeat the process for the Microsoft uh, client device. So right click on the .ova file and then click on open with virtual box. Click on the import button and uh, as you can see we've actually imported uh, a second uh, cloud hosted router. So click on settings and again we're first going to change its name. So I'm just going to set it to Microsoft uh, router for simplicity's sake. So I'm just going to name it a Microtech router and then um, so let me see it here. So it's actually Microtech router and then click on the display tab and then set the graphics controller to VMS VGA. Click on the network tab and then set adapter 1 and adapter 2 to net, NAT network. You also need to set the promiscuous mode to allow all on both adapters and then once you've actually done that click on the OK button. So uh, we're actually going to start up the two cloud hosted routers. I'm just going to start the server and the client at the same time. And as you can see, they're actually starting up now. And uh, what we're actually going to do is to check the IP configuration on the Microtech Dude server uh, route. So login using the default admin account. So the login is just admin and the password is actually blank. Just press enter on the password and then uh, run the command IP address print to list out all of the uh, the default uh, IP address that it's got. So run the command IP address remove zero to remove that address and then to set the static address 
uh, run the command IP address, add address uh, equal to 192.168.56.254 and then it's going to be a slash 24 address um, and then I'm then going to attach it to the Ether1 interface so this is how you can actually set a static IP address which is actually what I recommend if you're going to be deploying this in a cloud in a production environment sorry so I'm just going to run the command IP address print to verify my changes. So as you can see, it's got a 56.254 address. So the next thing that I'm going to do now is to open up Winbox. So my Winbox is actually in my applications folder. Uh, and I'm actually going to uninstall the dude uh, server package that comes pre-installed on the cloud hostage route. So just log in again using the default admin account. So let me just uh, log in now and then to remove the dude package click on system and then click on uh, packages so select the dude uh, package and then click on uninstall so you should then click on setting system and then click on uh, reboot so once the package the cloud was data reboot you should see the dude uh, package uninstalled uh, so as you can see the dude package is no longer there and then I'm just going to check what version of uh, root OS I've got, I've got 6.48.6 .6, and then click on system and then click on resources so check the architecture name, that's where you can check your architecture so when you go to the uh, MyTrick website you just have to download the dude server package that corresponds to your architecture as well as the router OS version so in my case, I'm expanding the version 6 section and then I'm then going to download the dude server package for the x86 uh, platform. So because that's in my case, that's the platform I'm using. So you just need to do the same to check your platform as well as your root OS version. So once you've downloaded the dude.npk uh, file, the next thing that you actually need to do is to go back to Winbox and then uh, open up files so just click on actually let me just move the .npk file to the desktop first so let me just copy it through to the desktop um, or just drag it to the desktop and then click on files from winbox and then click on upload click on desktop and then select the dude.npk file and then click on open so once you've actually uploaded click on system and then click on uh, reboot and then click on yes so that's how you would actually install the dude package for your router so once it's actually rebooted you can see the dude package is now back there so click on the click on dude actually let me first uh, complete the basic configuration in quick set so I'm going to set my gateway address to 56.1 and then the DNS server is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. Then my LAN address, I'm going to set it to 192.168.10.254 and then click on the uh, bridge all LAN ports, DHCP server and NAT checkboxes. And then my DHCP server range, I'm just going to set it to 192.168.10.10 .10, all the way up to 192.168.10.254. So that's the basic configuration. Let me just check my address there. It's actually supposed to be 56.254. And then click on apply and then I'm also going to change the identity of the router so let me just name it uh, Microtech uh, Dude Server so once you've actually done that uh, click on apply and then click on OK uh, let me just double check if everything is still good from within the Dude Server uh, terminal so I'm just going to run the command IP address print and as you can see my addresses are intact so that's what we actually actually wanted to see. So go back to um, actually let me check the client route as well because I want to see what address it's actually been assigned. So I'm just going to run the command IP address print, and um, as you can see, it's got a 10.100 address which it was allocated by the Microsoft Dude server. So click on Dude and then click on Settings and then click on Enable. Then click on apply so that will actually enable the dude server package 
and then once it's actually enabled um, the next thing that we're actually going to do is to then actually install the dude uh, client software on my uh, MacBook so um, just go back to your downloads folder and then open the dude client dot uh, exe file click on I agree and then click on next click on install and the installation should just take about a minute or so to to to, to, to complete so once it's actually installed I'm just going to go to the dude uh, folder and then I'm then going to open up the dude.exe file so once it opens up um, on the server field you need to type in the IP address of the uh, of your MicroTik router that's running the dude uh, server package in my case the IP address is 192.168.56.254 so if you click on save, if you look at the top, if you look at the bottom right corner, you should see a status message saying getting stuff. So if you see that getting stuff message, then it means it's actually connecting to the dude uh, server package. And then once it's actually loaded up, it's then going to show you options where you can actually run a scan of the network where you intend to build a diagram. So it's actually loaded up now. And... Um, just going to click on discover it is going to scan both the 56.0 network and the 10.0 network so as you can see it's actually running the scan now and we should see all the devices start to pop up on the uh, uh, interface here so it's still scanning and it should take about a minute or so for it for to start popping up devices so as you can see, it's actually detected my MacBook and the MicroTik 10.100 client router. The 56.100, I think that's the IP address of my MacBook again. Okay, so as you can see, the scan is done. So that's how you can actually quickly find devices on your network. Um, if you've got a large network, this is how this is one of the quickest ways to find devices on your network. So there you have it folks, um, I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you very much for watching.